Hi guys, I hope you are having an absolutely fantastic Wednesday so far and a nice Labor Day weekend if you're in the United States. Football Manager has dropped their second major development update of Football Manager 25 and it's coming right off of the heels of this past weekend's FIFA E World Cup of Football Manager. And I'm not going to read this all to you much like the last time. I'm just going to kind of parse through, give you the information that really stuck out to me and the one massive red flag to me that I discovered in the text. It all starts off with talking about the FIFA E World Cup of Football Manager that wrapped up this past weekend and the spectacular event it was, congratulated the team from Indonesia for winning the final, Germany for getting there, and of course, RDF Tactics, second yellow card for making such a fantastic showing getting into the final four, representing the three lines of England. Once you get past all that is when the juice and the meat of the announcement really comes in. The first is entitled, Revising Our Timelines. And it says, we previously stated we would be confirming FM25's release date at the beginning of September, which is now, with pre-orders starting at the same time, closely followed by our gameplay rollout period. Well, that seems to have changed. They've decided to shift the official announcement of FM25 to the end of the month of September with the gameplay focus period following soon thereafter. So not to expect much more information on FM25 for the remainder of this month, which is different from the norm. If you remember last year, it was in September where we started getting those weekly video updates of the, the new features and how things are going to work out as far as the gameplay engine, etc. The target launch date now has been moved from its typical early November slot now for late November. They say the development cycle has been challenging for the whole team and they knew that moving the entire game to the Unity engine was going to be a complex endeavor. As they've gotten deeper into the process of gained learnings, they say, it's fair to say it's been trickier than we originally anticipated. The entire dev team has been challenged in a myriad of new ways and are doing an incredible job in the process. And Miles is excited to eventually share their hard work with us, but they need a little bit more time before they can do that. Okay, that is a little disconcerting because we already know from what we have gleaned and what we have been told before is that the shift to Unity has been a multi-year process. It's not something they just started after FM24 came out. So they've had a long amount of time to try to figure out what these pitfalls and what these issues and challenges were going to be. And I am not a game developer. I don't know jack squat about the Unity engine, how it works, how difficult it is to work in it. So I'm not trying, I'm, de I'm just coming out as a consumer of the product and the consumer of the news that has come out surrounding it. And knowing that this late in the game, less than at the time, we thought two months out from the release, now three, that we are hearing about these added challenges. And we're going to get to more on that in just a little bit. But the hearing about this now makes me wonder what the product we are going to ultimately get when the game release is now in late November is actually going to be relative to our expectations as a general football manager community. They have also announced two aspects of the game will not be available in FM 25. One big and one small. And the small one, I've got to be honest with you, not very surprising. The big one is international management is not going to be a playable mode in FM25. Now, they are falling back and saying it's because only 5.6% of all FM24 PC saves have used international management. What they are neglecting to realize is there is a very good reason for that because international management has been, for lack of a better word, broken and for use of a better word, lackluster for at least as long as I have been playing the game. Your inability to train and therefore rest players during international breaks while in charge of an international team is a huge issue 
for the enjoyment of that particular subset of gameplay. Having being forced to rotate your international squad the way that you have to because of player fatigue is frankly ridiculous. Am I shocked that international management isn't going to be play, playable? Not really. Is it extremely disappointing? Absolutely. Because I, for one, and I know there are a number of people out there in the community, were certainly hoping that international management would be one of the aspects of gameplay that could and would be improved upon with the move to the new engine. They said they had their same three core questions going in. Would you do it the same way if we had our time again? Would we have done this at all? And do we have the time required to do this in the highest possible standard in our first cycle of a new era? And everyone, I think, was hoping the answer to all three would be yes. Unfortunately, it seems the answer to at least the third question was a resounding no. The rest of this section we will get to in just a little bit. I want to talk about what else is left over because in that section is where I found a massive red flag in the messaging. And we talked about this a little bit on Discord. I talked about a little bit on Twitter earlier as well. The second aspect that will not be in Football Manager is part of an update to player profiles. Now, the way they've couched this is like is almost as if a positive, like, oh, here is how we are doing this differently. But in reality, it's like, here is the piece of information that will no longer be available. And that is player weight. Look, I've used it as a talking point when I'm trying to describe a new center back I signed. He's six foot three, 195 pounds, whatever it is, just to give a sense of the strength that that particular player is going to bring to my side. Well, with the addition of women's football clubs, and this is why I wasn't surprised, and their creation of the women's football database, they discovered that while the weight of male athletes can change a bit month to month, women's body types are very different from men's, surprise, surprise, and their weight fluctuates a lot more. I thought part of this was because it's it's a little bit harder to actually get this data. So with this perspective in mind, they have reviewed the game and have ultimately decided to not show player weight in the player profiles for any player in FM25. They're going to have a very basic measurement, which will be included under the hood, but it's not going to be visible on the front end anymore. Now, I hope that, and this may be asking a little bit too much. Again, it seems like a late uh, deletion or a late addition, whichever way you want to look at it, as far as the game is concerned, it is a late change so I would hope that the player strength attribute, for example, might be greater affected to reflect the relative weight, heft, girth, whatever you want to call it, of the player and how their weight under the hood will affect their gameplay. Moving on to the testing update, they announced in June they were going to be welcoming members of the FMFC within a reasonable travel distance of their campus in London to help with play testing of the new UI that obviously is going to be moving forward. It's just going to be happening a little bit later. So if you have applied to that, who happen to be in the London or the South England area and you want to be part of that, you will be notified uh, when it will be time to start that and you'll be contacted with further date options as they finalize that process. Miles also says this should be his last development update until they start focusing more on what is actually in FM25 versus what is not. He says there are lots of good stuff to show us that they're excited about, but wants to reiterate that FM25 is the first installment in a new era of the game, one that will give us a lot more possibilities than they had with the previous chapter, and says FM25 is just the starting point for what is a very exciting long-term project. To me, unfortunately, as a paying member of the public, sounds a little bit like FM25 is essentially going to be the beta test for FM26. I would still like to be proved wrong. Now we come back to the big red flag. And I'm actually going to read this part to you verbatim just so we get uh, a sense of really what is going on here. And these are the words of Miles Jacobson himself. 
While difficult, these decisions are made for the good of the game and the majority of our players. We have determined to ensure that FM25, the first game in a new regime, is as good as it can be in the time we have. By pushing back FM25's release date, we've given ourselves a few extra weeks of development time to try to deliver the best experience that we can for this first in the new era of Football Manager releases. Sounds very good so far. Here's where the kicker comes in for me and where my antenna went up. In recent weeks, we have also taken steps to free up more of my time to focus solely on development and supporting the wider team. One of our core studio values is consider the bigger picture and what's most important right now is focusing on FM25. I mentioned in June that I'd be speaking at the Unite Conference in Barcelona as part of the keynote. While we still have an FM presence there, I will not be making the trip because I need to concentrate all my efforts on directing FM25. It's for this reason that I will also not be attending Tokyo Game Show, an event I loved last year and really helped make our first ever release in Japan a big success. I've also canceled the trip to America, which I was really looking forward to, but the game and you as the players of our games are the bigger picture. Which makes me wonder, how bad are things right now that Miles, who, while involved, I am sure, was not so deeply involved he could focus on other projects revolving around Football Manager and SI than the actual development of the game? How bad are things? How far behind are things? How weak is the product that they are thinking about potentially putting out in November that Miles dropped everything and said I need to work on this right now they need my help more than anything else it just makes me wonder what we are going to be getting when November comes I want to be wrong I desperately want to be wrong but when the big boss when the big picture boss starts getting so deeply involved in the nitty-gritty it gives a cynic and a devil's advocate such as myself, a little bit of pause. Again, I hope that I am wrong. I hope this is just a way to make sure that everything is done and across the finish line with the standards that they had set up in their initial meetings years ago when they decided to go to the Unity engine. I hope that I am wrong, that this is not a message telling us that right now FM25 is a train wreck that needs to get put back on track. I hope that I am wrong. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this particular development update. I'm going to put a link to it in the description down below as well. I want to hear from you, whether it's here on YouTube, on the Discord, or when we are back together this weekend on Twitch. But I got to say, the news coming out on FM25... More deletions, no new information on gameplay and all the changes and what Unity is really going to mean in a positive sense for the game. It's given me a chance to say, hold on, let's temper our enthusiasm because right now, things, well, they don't sound good.